Paper Planes Mia and Ben were the very best of friends. They lived side by side on the edge of a great wide lake. They sailed together and swung and sang together. But what they loved doing most of all was making planes. In the winter, Mia and Ben would race their planes with the geese above. And in the summer, they would climb into the hills and toss their planes down below, watching them glide home. Mia and Ben were determined to make a plane that could fly all the way across the lake, but it wasn't meant to be. Ben had terrible news. He was leaving. His family was moving to a new home a long way away. Mia and Ben were crushed. How could they stay best friends if they were so far apart? They promised to never forget one another, and they swapped planes as they said their goodbyes. As the days passed, Mia missed Ben very much. She thought of him way over the sea and wondered if he was lonely too. Winter came again, but when the geese returned this time, Mia had no one to race planes with. Hot tears fell from her eyes. Mia and Ben would never make a plane that could fly across the lake now. Mia took the plane Ben had given her and smashed it on the ground. She went to bed feeling hurt and angry. That night, as moonlight crept across her bedroom floor, Mia heard something. Was it the wind? No, it was the sound of distant geese calling and powerful wings beating. Mia crept out of bed and spied something odd with her telescope in the garden below. Why, it was the plane she had smashed, as good as new. Mia hurried outside for a closer look. The swish and chatter of geese grew louder and a wild wind began to blow. As the wind whipped around Mia's plane, it grew big enough to climb in. Suddenly, a huge gust whisked Mia and her enchanted plane into the air, up across the lake and away. Climbing at terrific speed, Mia joined a flock of geese. Their silver feathers gleamed in the light of the moon as they rushed through the night. Up ahead, Mia spotted something familiar in the distance. Could it be? Yes, it was Ben, waving and smiling. Together they swooped and skimmed and soared. Mia wished she could stay forever, but as the sun began to rise, she knew it was time to go, and in the beat of a wing, Mia woke up and found herself back in her bedroom. At breakfast time, a package arrived for her. Inside was a brand new plane, but it had no wings. There was also a note, Dear Mia, I really need your help to finish this. No one else can make wings like you. Love, Ben. Mia remembered her dream with Ben and the geese. Ben might be far away, but that didn't mean Mia had lost him forever. So she sat down at her table and got to work on the wings Ben had asked for. Mia thought of the geese with their long necks stretching and their wide wings beating. And over the weeks she worked and she worked and she worked. In the springtime, it was finally ready. 
Mia fixed her wings onto the plane Ben had sent her and went down to the water's edge. She threw the plane up into the air and it soared higher than any plane she and Ben had ever made before. Mia and Ben could still make planes together, the best planes in the world, and they would always stay friends. For now, not even an ocean could keep them apart.